There should be just enough University of Missouri storm chasers don't stop just because it's yeah, winter. MU researchers will release weather balloons during severe winter storms to study the little known phenomenon of thunder snow. One of the things that we're still not completely clear on is how the cloud becomes electrified. Pat Market leads a team of MU atmospheric science students with the goal of tracking a full blown thunder snow event. Mizzou students say it won't be easy. There's not a lot known about it. Um, and the biggest hazard with it is uh, you get blizzard conditions, um, whiteout conditions. Tony! Fire it up! Storm chasers will release a series of weather balloons in the middle of a winter storm. Data from the balloons will be sent to the research team's laptops to be analyzed. We're going to be able to um, observe the temperature and humidity inside the storm as well as um, wind. And when we can do that, we can better forecast um, the environment that will cause these storms to produce heavy snowfall. The weather balloons provide data that allows the students to see inside the storm. If we launch it in a snowstorm, we can actually see how the atmosphere is behaving right then and there during the snowstorm. It's still working just fine. Nobody has tried to, to do this kind of, of sounding with any great detail um, through any kind of winter storm. The MU research team hopes to develop data that leads to better forecasting of severe winter storms. From the University of Missouri, I'm Kent Faddis reporting.